Get lost on your way to the outlets? Because you're in our house. <laughs> Show them, Gab! And one! I thought there would be more air in that. I really that's, did. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got some hacks that'll get our bounce back. You know okay. what I mean? Because this right, is right. some hack versus hack. Get out of here. I got it. Brought to you by Metro PCS. Saggy balls are no fun to play with. So today we're testing out some hacks for blowing up basketballs in case you don't have a pump nearby. And to help us determine which hack is going to be the king of the court, we're joined by three stars of the Los Angeles Lakers development team, Zach, Andre, and Justin. Is there a way to, to know that a basketball is properly inflated? Yeah, it is a general rule. If you outstretch your arm, when you drop it, it should come back and hit your elbow. So this one, it's about good to go. I learned something today. Well, we're going to learn a lot today because we have three hacks that may actually help you get air inside of a deflated basketball. <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. Yeah. Mm. OK, hack number one is a balloon. Put a coffee stir on the end of it, kind of the way you would a needle, attached with some duct tape, and let her rip. Hack number two is some compressed air. Get the straw into the basketball, pull the trigger. That should inflate it to regulation size. And lastly, hack number three is a microwave. Not sure why you'd have one of these on the court, but if you nuke your basketball for just the right temperature, it should reinflate. Just don't overcook it. Nobody wants their balls overcooked. No, they don't. No. So who's going to take what? I got dibs on the microwave. Wait, you want the microwave? You can't go wrong with the technology. Andre, what hack would you want? I'm going to take the balloons. So Justin, that would leave you with this can of compressed air. The only question is, is it enough pressure? But I think it'll work. The rules are simple. Whoever can get air back in that ball the fastest, they're the winner. All right, well, let's get into it. Three, uh. two, hack. Oh, God. Oh, man. No. Yeah. OK, there is a basketball almost in a microwave. That's All part right. of the issue. OK. Wow. He mashed it. How long are you putting that in the microwave? 30 seconds. OK. Really? OK, Andre's blown up a balloon. There's a lot of finessing. You don't want to pop it. Justin is being gentle. Andre looks like he's trying to nurse a kitten back to health. It looks like he's gently feeding some air into the ball. All right, that's 30 seconds. Ooh, ooh nice and warm. There you go, there you go. Oh, okay, does that make no? So that's not no way, no way. Zach, oh, Zach, on. sorry, buddy, we got to call you back here. It just needs a little more time. Yeah, okay, sure. that's probably what it is. Yeah. Sure. So I think what's happening is that the microwaves, well, they're heating up the air that's inside right. the ball, so that's making it expand. But oh. once it cools down. Is that working at all, Andre? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? Need yeah. about eight balloons, though. Yet. Oh, that one works extremely well. There's kind of no contest here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it? Wait. Done. Yeah, that's some cheetah. Now he's just oh. mocking them Looks openly. like that's it there, bro. Oh. So. oh, that is it, my friend. OK. <whistles> Justin made the right call. Compressed air takes the win. This hack was the clear winner. No gimmicks, no tricks. And you? Get to go home with this. Oh, oh yeah. The gold plated pump. Oh. The winner of this hack versus hack is Justin in the can of compressed air.